lesson 26, the students are learning how to take a percent of a quantity. And I'm going to show you two examples we did today in class just to help you refresh. Five of the 25 girls on Aiden Middle School, Alden, I'm sorry, Middle School soccer team are seventh graders. Find the percentage of seventh graders on the team. Show two different ways of solving for the answer. One of the methods must include a diagram, a picture, or a picture model. I'm going to do the first one as a picture, and I'm going to do my tape diagram. Okay? It says five of the 25 girls on Alden Middle School soccer team are seventh graders. I'm going to make that a fraction first. Okay? Um, I'm going to simplify this fraction. It is one fifth. Okay? So in my tape diagram, I'm going to split my tape into five sections. On the bottom, I'm going to put my percentages, 0 to 100 percent. Since I took uh, my tape uh, and split it into five, I'm going to take 100 and divide it into five equal sections. 100 divided by five is 20, so 20 percent, 40 percent, 60 percent, 80 percent, in 100%, okay? Now I'm going to put, now you have to understand your part of the total, okay? These are how many are 7th graders. This is your total on your team. So this 5 is going over here, okay? And I'm going to split the 5 into 5 boxes. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and it says one of one of the soccer players out of every five is a seventh grader. Okay, and that would equal twenty percent. Okay, that is one way to do it with a tape diagram. Okay, the second way is to use labels equal fractions. You have your seventh graders, you have your total. Five seventh graders for every twenty-five for every 25 people on the team. You want to change that to a percent out of 100. Let's scale 25 up, okay? 25 times 4 is 100. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. 20 out of 100, or 20% of the soccer players on the team are seventh graders, okay? Hopefully that was a good example, but let's try another one, okay? Of the 25 girls on the Alden Middle School team, 40% also play on a travel team. How many of the girls on the middle school team also play on a travel team? I'm going to show this two ways, too. I'm going to take a tape, and I'm going to break it into 10 sections. And on the bottom, I'm going to put my percentages. Okay, 0% to 100%. Okay. 25 is my total here. 40% of the girls also play on the travel team. Okay. So now, this is a good one for me to do with you, actually, because now that I've put 25 here, I can't really divide 25 by 10. I can. Let me show it to you. 25 divided by 10 boxes is going to give you a decimal. Okay, you would be counting by 2.5. So it would be 2.55, um, 10, 12.5, 15, 17.5, 20, and then this one would be 22.5, and 25, okay? That's doable, okay? It's a little harder. I'm going to show you an easier way. Now you go to 40% on the bottom, and that means 10 students play on the travel team. This should be labeled. This is travel team. This is percentages, okay? Um, let me show you an e a way to do that with equal fractions, okay? Let's make the top travel and the bottom percentages. Okay. 
of the 25 girls, I don't like my labels. This is good for you to see. The math teacher sometimes even changes her mind on how to set this up. I'm going to do travel team to total. Okay? Of the 25 girls, okay, I know 25 is a total, so it goes on the bottom. Okay, 40% also play on a travel team. So 40% play on a travel. Percents are always out of 100, okay? Now you can figure out the missing piece here by using these labeled equal fractions. 25 times 4 is 100, and whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So you have to think what number times 4 is 40, or you can work backwards and do 40 divided by 4, which is 10, okay? And you get the same answer two different ways. Let me show you another tape. I'm not sure I love that tape diagram because you're counting by decimals, which, you know, if that, that made sense to you, you definitely can use it, okay? But in the previous example, we took the bar and we split it into five sections, okay? If the bar you split out up into doesn't work evenly, change it. Let's try counting by five boxes here during your percentages. That would be 20%, 40%, 60%, and 80%. And I'm going to label this percent. Okay, and this is how many are on my travel. This is how many are going to be on my soccer team total. Okay, and that 100% of the team is 25 players. So 25 divided by 5 boxes is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 40% of them play on a travel team. Okay, so you're going to go to 40% and that is going to give you an answer of 10. This might seem a little easier than the counting by the decimals. I hope this was a good preview of le Lesson 26.